Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would do something a little bit more beauty related. Obviously, I am not a beauty guru or anything like that. I'd go as far as saying I'm a bit of a beauty novice. But I thought I would talk you through some of my everyday beauty favourites. Um, I was going to do a tutorial and then gave it a go and then thought no one actually wants to see me putting on makeup because I have no idea what I'm doing. So instead I thought I'd talk you through my kind of everyday makeup bag and the products I've been using kind of for a really, really long time. I've kind of had the same makeup look since I was about 16, kind of cut off like foundation, which has kind of evolved a bit from Dream Matte Mousse, so that kind of thing. But I thought I would talk you through those kind of things and yeah, just introduce you to my makeup bag basically. It's keen to get to know you. I also wanted to just say a big thank you to all the new subscribers I've got. I'm really, really grateful that you've, you know, given me a chance. And I know a few of you have come from Sammy's channel, so if that's you, a big thank you to you too, because that's really kind of her. But anyway, let's get on. Okay, so first things first, I'm talking about base. There are two products that I kind of use pretty much every morning before I put my makeup on. And this first one is this Chanel moisturiser. This is called La Solution Tender Chanel, probably better in a French accent. But it's amazing, it's got 10 ingredients, which means I have never had any kind of reaction to it, which I think would be, yeah, the lack of ingredients means that there's less for me to react to, I suppose. But it is amazing, it's really light and it sinks in really quickly, but I use it every morning for my makeup on. I also use this Bare Minerals Prime Time. I don't always use a primer because I have a bit of a funny relationship with them, sometimes they get along really well you know, a bit of confrontation. But this one is amazing, it's slightly tinted, but it kind of just takes away any redness, any unevenness. And yeah, it's just really, really good to just kind of, if you're having a good skin day, sometimes you can get away with just that and concealer. But it's just really light, kind of velvety, and it just acts like a really great base for any kind of, you know, makeup looks you got going on. So those are my two favorite base products. Moving on to base, at the moment, my favorite foundation is this one. This is the YSL Le Tint Touche Clap Foundation. Pretty much everyone knows it, but if you don't, it is amazing. Um, I really like it for the kind of a nice middle ground coverage. I used to use double wear all the time and I found it kind of almost a bit too heavy. Great in winter when you're running for buses and you don't kind of want to look bright when you get to the bus. But um, for summer I like something a little bit lighter and this is really good because it's buildable as well. Um, but it's still got a bit of a glow to it, but not so much that you have to kind of lap on lashings of powder. Um, I use this in the shade BR20, which sounds like a Bromley postcode, so I'm in love with it. Um, but yeah, it's really, really good, really nice coverage, and it's just the one foundation I've been going back to again and again because I just get along really well with it, and it's a good one for my skin, so really love that. Okay, moving on to concealer. My favourite concealer at the moment is this Lancome one, which is the... Oh, that is all in different language. Not really sure. I'm going to link the name of that there because it's it's got a nice French name, but it's I know if I start pronouncing it, it's just going to be a complete mess. But I've actually mentioned this in another video, which was a monthly favourites. But um, yeah, really, really amazing coverage. I think I actually referred to it as being so full coverage it could probably conceal like a bank robbery, which I was very proud of at the time. But it's fantastic. Again, really buildable. It's slightly lighter than my foundation, which I do like because then it kind of acts like a highlight as well. Because I mean, I don't use it to cover up kind of big bulky spots, but it's a really, really good concealer for like darkness, any unevenness, just to kind of set everything into place. So I really, really love that just before I put my powder. So with powders, my two favourite powders, or kind of one powder and one kind of contour powder, which I'm completely novice in. My favourite powder is Girl on One. <laughs> It's the Meteorites one, which everyone knows and loves because it's so beautiful. It's kind of an array of different kind of pigmented pastel powders. So there's a mint, tiny green one, um, pink and purple. They all kind of offset different miscolorings of the skin, which is amazing. But unfortunately, the other day I had my makeup eye on my bed. It fell off and now it is in lots of tiny little pieces, which you see all those things pop up on Facebook which shows you how to get your powders back together and all you've got to do is just add this and flatten it all down. That doesn't quite work with this because it's like a jigsaw puzzle and now it is in a lot of pieces. But it still works amazingly. Um, I could insert a glossy version of it close up now but it just looks a bit sad. But it smells like palm violet, sets my makeup and literally lasts all day so I'm completely in love with that. The other thing I've also been loving is this Daniel Sandler Scott and Slim Effect Contour Face Powder. Um, 
less for the slim effect, more for just the slight shadowing and shading that I use. This is a beautiful little contour kit. It is just like that. Um, it's got a lighter shade and a slightly darker shade, and with the darker shade, it's got great pigmentation, but it's not too heavy or thick, so you can just sweep it on lightly, and it gives you a lot of chance to build. I do love the Smashbox one, but the pigment on that is so amazing that you literally have to just touch it slightly, and then you're like chiselled and sculpted by the gods. So I like this in a way because it gives me more of a chance to kind of build a little more, and as I'm quite heavy handed with a makeup brush, I almost need the chance to build up rather than take away, so that I really, really love. For blush and bronzes, I like two products at the moment that I have kind of been circulating. The first is this bronzer. This is the Terracotta Bronzer by Guerlain again. I know a lot of people love this, particularly my friend Susie, who always shouts about this product, but it's amazing. It is just a really, really beautiful kind of tan, chocolatey brown colour. Really, really light, smells amazing, all their products smell amazing, but it's really nice to just dust on the temples of the face, the kind of apples of the cheekbones, just to give a nice warmth to your face, which I definitely don't have. Even now, sitting with all the makeup on, I don't have a warmth to my face. Um, the blush I've been loving is the YSL Blush Volute, or Volute, I don't know, I'm not going to try and say that. But again, this is beautiful, it's got a slight kind of highlight to it, so it kind of, you can dust it on. And it has a bit of a shimmer, so it's not so matte, which the other blush I really love, um, which is a Sigma one, is very flat. But I like this because for summer it's nice to have that natural kind of lit from within look. So I really, really love those two products. Now, this is probably one of my favourite products at the moment. Um, I've not seen this pop up anywhere else, so I kind of feel like, although I am a complete novice with beauty, this is like my exclusive. But pardon me if someone's featured it and I've just not watched it. Sorry. Um, but this, anyway, is the Sequin Ray Luminizing Quad, which is from And Other Stories. Um, I think I mentioned in my last video, I primarily go there for clothes and things, but this and their makeup is amazing. It's like a little quad of four shades, so one's pink, one's more nude, one's white, and one's slightly darker. And you kind of pat it on, and it's like a liquid cream highlighter. And it is amazing. I have always been a bit dubious of highlighters because they tend to just make me look a bit sweaty. <laughs> But this is so nice at just giving a slightly delicate kind of shimmer just to there. I don't know if it shows up in camera. But um, I really, really love this. It doesn't move all day and it's just a really nice colouring. And I always kind of never really expected to find my dream highlighter in that shop. But yeah, definitely recommend checking this out if you can. Eyeshadow time now. Um, with regards to eyeshadow, I tend to wear the same kind of colours on my eyes. A few of my friends have noticed, which is funny because I literally wear the same thing. and. I'm very much of the stance, I'm like, if you've got a good thing going, don't change it. And because I'm a bit of a, like, a non-expert in smoky eyes or layering shadows, I'm just like, okay, I'll stick to the two colours I use. Um, although I watch a lot of makeup videos and tutorials, I'm too scared to kind of start layering different colours, so I'm sure I'll get there, I'm sure I'll get there. But the two things I use again and again are this Sephora eyeshadow, which is in the kind of girl talk, which sounds very cool, but it's a really beautiful, pigmented, very glittery, kind of pinky colour, it's very pale, so more of a shampoo-y pink, um, very light, but you can just layer it up, it looks amazing, and it's the kind of shadow that people, when I wear people are like, oh, what have you got on your eyes, and I'm just like, ooh, and yeah, it always gets those compliments, which I really, really love. The other colour I love is in this palette, which is the Chantecaille um, Monte Carlo palette, which sounds very fancy. Again, this was another culprit of my falling makeup bag and crumbling to bits. Not too bad actually, but I use the pinker shade on the left, which is the colour Grace, which is really lovely. I kind of put it on underneath the Sephora one and then layer the two. Um, they are very pinky, so I try to kind of not go too heavy on it because it can go from being like quite a girly look to like a Michael Michael Romance, Gerard Way, pinky, red eye look. So not that's bad, he had a good thing going on, but for day to day, I tend to try and steer onto the more like glittery eye look. So those are both of the commands for me. For brows, I tend to use two products, which I've been using again and again. They've both run out, I've both repurchased them, and I don't see that changing anytime soon. The first thing is this Tom Ford Brow Sculpt, Brow Sculptor, in the shade Espresso, or Espresso, I don't drink coffee, I don't know how to pronounce it right. But this is amazing, it's got a tiny little brush at the end, which is a brush, like, 
old pencil which is slightly sculpted and it is so so easy just to get a perfect shape and definition on your brows. It's also quite light so you have that kind of buildability and you can kind of brush it through the brush at the end just to kind of check everything's going alright which I really like. I then finish off with the L'Oreal Brow Artist kind of gel and it's slightly tinted but not tinted so much that it looks like you know everything's kind of been like I don't know where I'm going with that, but it just gives a really nice full effect and keeps them in place all day, which is really, really handy if you've got brows as unruly as mine. So for eyes, there are two products that I use again and again and again. At the moment, I've got false, eye false eyelashes. I have lash extensions on, which are essentially false lashes. Um, so I haven't really been using a mascara as much, but that's normally kind of my main thing with eyes. But at the moment, I've been using, again, a Tom Ford product, um, the Eye Defining Pen, which is their liquid liner. It's got two ends. One's a slightly thicker nib and one's very fine, so you can kind of do the sweep over the top of your eye and then get the flick with a smaller pencil, well, brush, which I really love because I kind of, with liquid eyeliner, I, I don't like, I'm not great with gel. Um, I'm not great with the brushes that are like literally one bristle, um, one kind of thing long. But these are really good because they're kind of like little markers but they're not so chunky that you kind of lose that control. So that is another per purchase product that I just repurchase all the time. And then I also have been using the Illamasqua colouring pencil which is just their coal liner on the inside which is another thing I've been doing for years and I doubt I'll ever change. But those are my two kind of staple eye pencils for day to day use. Okay so the two final products I want to talk about are both lip products. They are a lipstick from MAC and a lip balm from Frank Body, which I'll talk about first because this is amazing. I put it on right at the beginning of my makeup routine or kind of when I get up in the morning and before I go to bed. It's kind of got the consistency of um, the 8 hour cream, the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream. Um, really, really beautiful, it smells like coffee, which I don't drink, but if I did, I'd be like, yes. It's just a really nice product, it lasts really long and kind of by the time you get around to doing the rest of your makeup, it's kind of sunk in a little bit, so it kind of nourishes your lips without being like sticky or too there, if that makes sense. Um, the lipstick I'm going to talk about and have been wearing loads at the moment is Honey Love by MAC. Um, I think I saw this on Lydia, perhaps, and obviously Lydia looks like a goddess all the time, so I was like, right, if this can make me look half as beautiful as her, then it's a product worth investing in, and it's gorgeous. It's um, kind of more of a pinky nude. Um, slightly brownish but because it's not too dark it kind of sticks quite nicely on paler skin tones as well so even if you've got a tan if you haven't it's just a really nice all-round color um, that's kind of the only switch up I have in my makeup routine everything else kind of stays the same and the only way of me snazzing it up is using a red lipstick or a nude lipstick but I really love this at the moment so I definitely recommend anyone who's kind of sitting on the fence of the news to give that a go so yeah they are my favorite products okay so that is that for this video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this. Obviously it's slightly different, a bit more beauty based, but if you just enjoyed me sitting here talking you through my favourite beauty products, do let me know because I'd like to know if you'd like to see more of this, maybe about skincare, maybe about, I don't know, beauty staples that everyone should have. So I don't know, I'm, I'm just new to this kind of beauty thing, but definitely let me know if you want to see anything else. But yeah, if you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and if not, then I will see you on Sunday. So yeah, have a great rest of your week.